to destroy the gun lobby, the death lobby, and the Republican Party that defends those lobbies and those businesses. And the only way to do that is an economic civil war. <laughs> yes. Now we're talking, man. As most of you already know, HDC has made Blackout Coffee the official coffee of the show. You'll also see it on Guns and Gadgets, Dan Bongino, and many more other people. But these are my two favorites right now, Morning Reaper and Brutal Awakening. Amazing company, great values. They donate some of the profits to troops overseas. And of course, they're giving you a discount. Go grab you some, there's a link below the video. Join the family. So there's this guy by the name of Keith Olbermann who uh, may have misspoke, and I'm, I'm hoping that you did because you're not thinking very smart. This guy has a podcast named Countdown with Keith Olbermann. Never heard of the guy. Um, apparently, he's some big podcast dude, but he covers landmark news, and apparently he has a segment of his show that is worst persons in the world. God, I hope I make it on there. Please put me on there after this. I really wanna be on your show as one of the worst persons in the world, if that makes any sense, it doesn't. But in the middle of February, I don't know how I missed it, probably because nobody really listens to your show, he put this out. We are owned by guns, and therefore there is only one way to stop the mass shootings. Do you see any of these guns behind me pointed at me? Are they making me make them lunch? Do I put them to bed at night? Do I answer to them? That's a strong negative. While we love guns, we are owned by nothing. America owns guns. So this is a good start to what can be seen on your podcast. Just complete delusion. Great. It is to suffocate the businesses that make billions of dollars in profits off guns. Perfect. While you're talking about suffocating, gum companies make billions of dollars a year on people chewing gum. I can imagine that some people every year suffocate on a piece of gum. Should we just completely get rid of gum? I mean, people are suffocating on gum, so we must get rid of them. No. Whenever you take a large sample size, like the entire population of the United States, there's always going to be a small amount of crap. Small, as in some people every year are shot. Some people every year choke on gum. Now, I'm not downplaying it, but it's the truth. But it can also be said that most of the shootings that happen in the United States are done by criminals that are not defending themselves, that are trying to rob someone or in a drug trade or something like that. So good start. Let's continue. To destroy the gun lobby, the death lobby, and the Republican Party that defends those lobbies and those businesses. And the only way to do that is an economic civil war. <laughs> yes. Now we're talking, man. You want an economic civil war. Why don't we just have a normal one? Why does it have to be economic? Think about what you just said. You want to have a civil war with gun owners. How are you going to fight us without guns? You're pitching gun control. You're pitching destroying the gun industry. And then you also pitch civil war while trying to get rid of guns. Do people actually listen to this guy? Like, is he big? I haven't looked. If people do, they're just getting dumber by the minute. The blue states have all the money. They must starve the red states into submission. The blue states have all the money. They may have more money, but they definitely don't have all of the money. That's a really dumb thing to say. Here's the other part. You know what's the great thing about states? If you own a gun shop and let's say California, and you move to Texas, do you think all the restrictions on your clients in your gun shop follow you? No, you're in Texas now, which means that you follow Texas law, not California law. So this guy's whole theory on drowning gun companies, it's impossible to do because it depends on the state they're in. Yeah, if they're in California, sure, go for it, dude. Go nuts. I don't even know how people still buy guns in California. But in order to do what you're saying, you would have to turn every state blue. It's not about just having more money. It's about actually turning it blue and then actually passing legislation to disband the gun industry. But that will never ever happen. So I guess we're just talking fairies and unicorns here. By the way, who talks to a camera and then has a picture of his face directly next to him. What is that supposed to be? Are you a clone or something? Continue though, please. Or another 600,000 Americans will be murdered in the next 10 to 12 years. <laughs> yes, okay. 
600,000 people are gonna be murdered. All right, well, let's just take some numbers because I found some the other day and they're very accurate. What gun do these idiots wanna take away from Americans? It's the AR-15. It's an assault weapon, as they call it. It's the semi-automatic rifle. Not pistols that make up the most of all shootings. You wanna go after our rifles. So let's take a look at this graph here. USA deaths per year approximate. Falling out of bed. Got it about 720 a year. I imagine those are probably old people with bad hips, something like that. Or maybe you just have a super high bed. Who the hell knows what people are into nowadays. But 720, now that may seem like a big number, but out of 330 million people, let's see what the percentage is on that. That's one person per 458,333 people. Not very many. Then we go down to swimming pools. Next we have deer. Then we have autoerotic deaths, ladders, bees, lawnmowers. Then we have AR-15 rifle homicide. Then we have buckets and lightning. Literally almost equal to lightning. So your chances of dying from an AR-15 in a homicidal situation is between you dying of a lawnmower or a bucket. But oh no, this podcast dude said that 600,000 people are gonna die from guns. Well, they might, but it's gonna be in a major city where gangs and crime is completely out of control, but that has nothing to do with guns. If they could get rocket launchers down there, they would have those too, trust me. So, not really sure how you have a podcast and people who listen to you, but if you wanna have me on your show, I have really no desire to be on there, but if you wanna debate me, I'll debate you on this anytime, anywhere. Bring some real facts to your audience because you are the most delicious delusional dude that probably has ever had a podcast.